Our hangman game is very nearly finished. The user can start a new game and the word is selected at random and the user can type in a guess and we know how to check to see if that letter is in the word. What we need to do now then is set up some lives and deduct one every time the user makes a wrong guess and keep track of the number of correct guesses so we can let them know if they've won. I'm just going to refine this loop first of all. This if statement is being repeated for each letter in the word. But if we find the letter, there's no need to keep checking the others. So what I'm going to do is declare a special kind of variable called a Boolean variable. A Boolean variable can have one of two possible values, true or false. Immediately after I've declared it, it'll have a value of false. So what I'm going to do now then is, if I find the letter inside the word, I'm going to set it to true. And then I'm going to force an exit from the loop. That means if we find the letter inside the word, there's no need to check the rest of the word. We just jump out of the loop early. Now down here, I'm going to test the Boolean variable using an if statement. So if be found is true, it's a correct guess. Else. So let's give that a go and see what we get. New game, three letters. I'll try an O. Wrong, try again. Let's try a P. Wrong, try again. I have a feeling it's the yak again. Correct guess. And you know what? I'm going to give the user a little bit more information. So I'm not just going to say correct guess. I'm going to tell them what the position of that letter is. So correct guess. Your letter is at. And I know the position. It's the value of I letter when it dropped out of the loop. So let's see what this does. Let's try a D. Correct guess, your letter is at position 1. Now, I want to keep count of the number of correct guesses, because if the number of correct guesses is the same as the length of the word, then the user has won. So I'm going to declare another variable, which I'll call correct guesses. And I'm going to declare it up here. The reason I'm declaring it up here is because I want it to keep its value between presses of the go button. So then, if the user makes a correct guess, I'm going to add one to it. This says, take whatever it used to be, add one to it, and put it back into the variable. We call this incrementing the variable. The other thing I want to do is every time the user makes an incorrect guess, I want to deduct a life. So I'm going to have another variable for this. And when the user makes a wrong guess, I'll decrement it. I lives equals I lives minus one. Let's just tweak this message a little bit. Now something else I need to do as well is if the user makes a correct guess, I need to just set be found to false again. In readiness for their next guess. Nearly there. Let's get rid of some of this white space. One final check. If the number of correct guesses is the same as the length of the word, I'll tell the user that they've won. If the number of lives is zero, well, they're hanged. And there it is. Let's check it out. Your word has got six letters. Let's try D for donkey. Ah, correct, at position one. Now that's not right, is it? 
press new game to play again it's telling me I've lost let's have a little think about this I think the problem is that we're keeping count of the lives and the correct guesses between games what I need to do is reset the lives and the correct guesses every time we start a new game so let's do that here and we'll give the user five lives to begin with. OK, let's try it again. Five letters. Let's try H for horse. Correct, at position one. I think I've got lucky here. Position two. Three. And that's at position four. And this must be an E. And I've won. Now I need to test this thoroughly, so I'm going to play again, but I'm going to play to lose. My word has got four letters, so let's try an X. I've lost a life. Let's try a P. Another life gone. Let's try an O. Now there is an O at position two. I think this is the goat, so let's try a Z. I'll try a K. lost a life you lose press new game to play again it's working it's not perfect I must admit but we have a basic game